is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for those of you who are new i am trying out my new setup today and if you see me kind of moving a little weird i have to move completely precise and plan out each movement because if i even blink wrong this entire rig is going to fall and everything will crash and burn so with that being said yes we're just getting a feel for it i played with the settings a little bit more because i was looking a bit orange in the last video so let's not talk about it so today I'm bringing you guys some beauty content. I know on my channel a lot of you guys are asking for a lot more of that. So that's what I'm bringing to you guys now. And if you don't like that, I'm so sorry. But makeup, that's not what you're doing, okay? So we're basically going to be hopping right into it. I'm going to be trying out, well, the title says I'm trying out makeup. But this is actually makeup that I use that gives me like a killer base. Never fails me if I ever need a routine to go back to. It's this one. This one right here. I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of the products, give you guys a list of the prices, and yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right into makeup products that should be going viral. To start off, I'm actually gonna be doing my brows. This is the e.l.f. brow pencil. I think it's like instant fill or something like that. It'll pop up on the screen so you guys can see like right here. And it's pretty inexpensive. I remember when I got it, I was actually kind of surprised by the quality of it, plus the price that it is. Like e.l.f. is doing it. They're getting up there, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm taking this brow pencil in the color Deep Brown and let me pull my hair back. My mirror is right here and my monitor is right here, so I don't know where to look. So if you see me looking, I gotta get better at looking at the lens, but if you see me looking all over the place, that's what that is. I'm just gonna start by brushing my brow hairs up. I have a lot of series planned. I'm not even gonna get into it too much. I have tons of series planned for this year, but I do have a series planned on like individual makeup steps in depth, like how to conceal, how to just do your brows, how to apply mascara, efficiently and all that jazz so be on the lookout for that because I know there's a lot of beginners out there and there's not very many beginner friendly tutorials out there I feel like so I'm gonna help you guys out with that I like a pretty natural brow these days so I'm just kind of lightly filling in my brows you guys can probably barely see a difference for a while I wasn't even filling them in at all I was just concealing them but yeah so I like a pretty fluffy brow my brows are not even and they never are but we're gonna we're gonna kind of fix that with some concealer okay so now i'm going to go through and brush them one more time and here's what we're looking like a nice lightly filled in brow and then you're gonna take a nice tight concealer brush this is just a real techniques and i'm actually gonna go back to an og today to conceal my brows this is just the la girl pro concealer and i'm using the color toffee because i like a highlighted under brow we used to call it the halo brow and people used to be hating on it and i low-key used to be like that's kind of like my shit like that's my vibe so people may have been clowning me and they probably still do but I don't care. <laughs> I desperately need to make a Sephora and an Ulta order or trip, but I'm just lightly concealing under my brow or heavily. Depends on how you like your makeup or what's your preference. I just realized that I was kind of far back, so I was out of focus, so I gotta keep that in mind. But anyways, I'm actually gonna use the same concealer on the top. So now I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush to blend out my concealer, and I'm just gonna lightly blend it out. Like I said, I like that highlighted under brow, so. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and start priming so you need to prime your skin protect your skin okay i've been very into that lately keeping my skin protected i mean not to brag but my skin's looking pretty good other than this scar here but other than that my skin's looking pretty nice lately so priming is something that i used to never do like when i first got into makeup but i think it's definitely worth it like look into it try it out you can get some pretty inexpensive primers Hello, hello. Just protect your skin. Make sure that your skin is moisturized and primed before you start putting makeup on it, especially if you're using mattifying makeup products. The two primers that I'm going to use, I'm going to start off with this No Problem Primer here. This is the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. Y'all, I literally cannot rave enough about this product. It literally is insane. Like, it makes your skin feel baby soft again. I am a little out of focus. That's what this makes your skin feel like every time. It's so good. I'm running out. Oh, 
it's just kind of embarrassing. Stop embarrassing me. You showing out for the camera, huh? Get a little bit of this primer. And then I'm gonna take my Ciate London Watermelon Waterburst Primer from Ciate London. And I'm gonna take a few pumps of this on my skin as well, just to keep the hydration on the face. The no problem isn't mattifying in any way or drying, but it's definitely not as hydrating as the Ciate London one. So just to keep my skin balanced, plus I use mattifying foundations over top, it's just good to use something like this to keep everything balanced so that I don't look dry and cakey all the time. Cause that ain't cute. No, it ain't sweetie. You may think it is, but it's not. I don't know who told you it was, but it ain't cute. So let's not do that no more, okay? Now the two foundations that I use, starting with my drugstore option, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I love this stuff. I use the shade 360. You could probably get this from Walmart for $5. If you need an inexpensive foundation, try Maybelline. I love pretty much all of their foundations. And this one is a great option. I've been using it for years. It has never done me wrong. So I'm gonna use this. And then my high-end option is Ow. My high-end option is my Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade 420 and I love this stuff to death. I'm gonna go ahead and take a few pumps of both on my face. Now I have been into a more natural base, if that makes sense, even though I do actually put a few products and layer them over top. Um, so it's not really the most natural base, but as far as foundation goes, I don't really like to cake too much product on. Maybe it's because I've been running out of makeup and that's what it is, but we're not gonna talk about that. Once I am done applying a bit of both foundations onto the skin, I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk sponge. Yes, it is dirty a bit, but I'm gonna take this sponge here. I'm going to start blending in the foundation. I love the consistency of the both of these foundations mixed together. They're mattifying, but not too matte. They both have a nice coverage on top of each other. You get a nice even coverage or not having to use so much products. That makes sense. Cause mixing the consistencies and the coverage of both foundations together kind of minimizes how much foundation you use overall and then you create a nice little balance so that you're not having to cake the face so as you guys saw I just barely put any foundation on my face I'm getting a nice coverage y'all know I had that scar on my face and where is it where is it sweetie so with that being said go out and buy these foundations what are you doing they're definitely worth the money especially that maybelline one because it's only like five dollars get your hands on it quick fast and in a hurry and you should definitely go out and try it moving on to concealers i actually have a few options of this i have two drug stores the first one i'm going to start off with is this is the la girl pro concealer that i use to conceal my brows it has a really nice coverage pretty thick but not too cakey and it's only like two dollars from the drugstore from the beauty supply that's probably where you can get it the cheapest because at one point I was getting them for like a dollar but then they started getting a little more popular and then the prices started going up but it's okay and then my second option is my elf camo concealer this is in the shade deep caramel and I love this concealer for highlighting under the eyes and it's super inexpensive I believe it's six dollars a pop so get your hands on that and then my most expensive option is the Too Faced born this way my label has rubbed off but this is the concealer and the shade maple this is my holy grail concealer set I'm gonna use this as my base and then mix in the other two over top yes that may be a lot but I'm not gonna use too much of each so of course you can use all of these products without the other you don't have to use all three but I personally like to mix I literally have mixed every single thing besides my brow product get used to it <laughs> I'm probably gonna be using a whole bunch of products on top of each other that's just how I am that's how I like it I don't discriminate on my face no I don't I'm just applying a little bit of all three everywhere that I would normally highlight on the face and then a tiny bit of this one since this one is very light I'm gonna take just a little bit in the center and now going back to my Sonia Kashuk sponge I'm gonna start pouncing under the eye and blending those out I'm also gonna take this over the eyelid to blend that 
brow bone concealer as well and as you can see look how snatched and concealed you look like dark circles, dark circles. who dark circles, dark circles where what? what i see no imperfections the skin's looking a little flat right now because there's no like shadowing on the face but the skin looks smooth like this is a killer base a killer base obsessed with it but give me two seconds because my laptop is dying so let me go grab the charger okay we're back close call anyways but that concealer as you guys can see stood up through me doing all of that let's see i'll give you guys a little zoom action real nice bright and snatched all right, so now to set that under eye, to make sure that it actually stands up while you're going out, while you're partying, laughing, all that under your mask, so that it doesn't melt so quickly. Why does it look so gross? Oh my gosh. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder. And here's my shade. Love this stuff. So I'm gonna take just a bit of this. A little goes a very long way with this. I've learned that less is more. I used to really cake it under the eyes and it used to look pretty bad. So less is more. Take your time. You can always build, but you can't take away. So keep that in mind. And I don't really bake anymore. I just press that powder directly under the eye press it in make sure everything is really locked nice and <laughs> snatched okay and i'm also as you guys can see proceeding and setting everywhere that i applied concealer as well and just to get off any excess product we're going to take a nice little fluffy brush and dust that away because we don't want to look cakey if we don't need to okay get rid of that extra definitely makes a difference so once that is done, it is time to move on to bronzer. This one I have definitely hit pan on. Probably not the best thing to show you guys right now as far as aesthetics, but on the face, it is powerful. This is the Black Radiance Foundation Pressed Powder, I believe. This is in the shade Rich Mahogany. I use this as my bronzer. I don't really like to contour. I choose to bronze. If you guys don't really like that, you can also replace this with a nice contour. Personally, I like to be bronze. I go crazy with it, okay? Like on a different level which i don't have my bronzer brush so grabbing that bronzer i'm just gonna take a little bit on my nice fluffy brush and start building i also have to keep in mind that the product can build pretty fast so take your time and do it in layers so that you don't go too crazy too quick and things don't get out of control out of hand too fast you control your makeup okay don't let it control you the power is within you get forehead into the hairline crucial for a seamless blend i mean there's never anything wrong with bronzer like who's ever heard of too much bronzer okay oh we love it we just help look at the difference on the skin what so now i'm gonna go ahead quick tip when i'm too lazy and don't feel like doing an eyeshadow look but my eyes look a little too blank for it to just be left like this i take a little bit of my bronzer like the tiniest bit lightly dust some on the outer edge and pull it out here into my actual bronzer and it just adds so much dimension to the face like look at that and warmth look at the difference in the eyes like i don't know if y'all can see it makes you look more awake and it looks like you put a little more effort into your makeup i'm too lazy to take off my glasses but it looks like you put a little more effort into your makeup and to look good but you didn't okay you just threw a little bronzer on your eyelids and you're good to go i'm also going to take just a tiny bit onto my lower lash line so nothing too crazy, just as a little oomph, a little something that you needed to finish your makeup off, okay? So now for blush, I like to take eyeshadows to use as my blush. So I'm just gonna take this eyeshadow palette that is so broken, but this is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Reloaded Iconic Neutrals 2 palette, and I only go in this palette for this shade here and these two. I mix all three of those. So I'm just gonna grab a mixture of those two shades or three shades, place that right above where I applied that bronzer for a nice soft but warm and cute look, okay? A nice little flush of color. I'm gonna blend that up into my bronzer as well. Again, go in with a light hand. I think that's a really important tip about makeup. Go in lightly and you can always build because makeup with varying products, some are more pigmented, some are less pigmented. So you just have to be mindful of that. And it's just important to go in with a light hand so that you don't ruin your makeup because one wrong move can mess the whole entire thing up. So, but you can also be really 
creative and bring it back together with the next step. But just be mindful that everything doesn't have the same exact pigmentation. Moving on to my favorite step of my makeup routine, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm using this Naked Cosmetics Loose Pigment in the shade Sierra Nevada 2. Let me just show you right quick, okay? So I'm gonna open it up and a little bit goes a long way. So I don't even dip into this. I just use what's stuck to the cap. And I'm gonna take my highlighting brush and I'm also gonna take my e.l.f. Plus Glow Dewy Mist. I'm going to spray my brush with it. Get it real nice and moist, okay? And then I'm gonna dip into the cap of Sierra Nevada. And look at that. You're joking. Literally every time, it's like I've done it for the first time because it's just that good. Like, it's insane. Ooh. And don't be afraid to go back and wet your brush for the other side because it does make a difference when the product is wet, I will say. Sometimes a nice little tap, like tap, tap, tap it in. Make sure that it really melts into the skin. With what else is left on the brush, I'm just gonna, I will go over all the other places where I would normally highlight, like the forehead, the cupid's bow, etc. And look at that. Mm. Pro tip, take a more detailed brush. Take a little bit more. You can hit the brow bone. And you can also take a bit more. Hit that inner corner of your eye. Which will also make it look like you did a little bit more with your eyes. Make you look a little more awake. By far the best highlighter that I've ever used. And it's not even a real highlight. It's a loose pigment. So, get your hands on us, okay? Okay, you're sleeping on it. You're sleeping on it, sweetie. I'm gonna need you to wake up. Wake up, sweetie. Wake up. So now I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is a Thrive Cosmetics. My tube is so disgusting. It's called Liquid Lash Extensions. And I'm gonna use this. Look at my lashes now. I just want y'all to make sure that you notice the difference, okay? Look at them now. No mascara with mascara and I'm just barely getting started. Yes, girl. Don't forget to back comb. Look at that. No, all jokes aside though, this mascara is the shit. Like, if anything, get this. It is kind of pricey though. I believe it's like $36, somewhere around there. But it's good. It's great, actually. Phenomenal. Exquisite. Get your hands on it. All right, so that's pretty much it for this makeup look on my lips. I am wearing my Morphe Kissy Face, my all-time favorite lip product. Obsessed. I can use a little bit more as well. But that's pretty much it for this video. Me testing out makeup products that should absolutely go viral. If they did go viral and they're not trending anymore, they should go viral again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys like the beauty content. Let me know how you guys are feeling. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. It's a wrap. Let's cut it. Let's cut it.